Hi, I'm Ted with Legacy Brand Leather. Recently, it was my brother and his partner's third wedding anniversary. The traditional third year anniversary gift is leather. I uh, totally knew that. Babe? So, my brother's partner reached out to me and asked if I could make him a leather dop kit, toiletry bag. My brother asked me some years ago to make him one, but at the time I was just inexperienced and didn't have a clue on how to put it together. And until this project, I've actually never made one. And sometimes I surprise myself. <laughs> no, not like that. I mean, you set out to craft something that you've never done before, and you're using all the tips and tricks that you've gathered over the years in the craft. And at the end of it, it's something amazing, something you would be happy for yourself to own. That's incredible. Anyways, I've talked long enough, let's get to it. Today I'm gonna to be using some English tan Dublin leather, three to four ounces thick from Horween Leather out of Chicago, Illinois. I'm first marking the overall dimensions of 18 inches by 15 and a half inches, using an awl and then cutting out the rough dimensions. Here I'm using a rotary cutting knife to trim all of the edges. For the zipper, I wanted to do a rolled edge since I thought it would look nicer. The leather is a bit thick when you're layering it, so I first marked a 1 inch line down the 15 and a half inch dimension. And then I'm using a 12 mm French edger from Palo Santo factory to skive the leather a bit thinner in order to make a nice fold. This tool has become one of my more favorites recently out of everything that I own. I use it mostly to make pockets thinner for some wallets. Now I'm folding the leather by hand a bit, applying some EcoWeld water-based glue, and then a spreader to even out the glue. Then once the glue has become tacky, I'm adhering the pieces together. You don't have to do this, but a roller can help here. Even an empty glass bottle could work. Then repeat the process for the other side. Since I still have some, I'm using the Tanner's Bond adhesive tape for the leather to the zipper contact. I found out the hard way some time ago that glue can have a tough time staying adhered to the zipper tape fabric. When I was using just the glue and stitching this together, the zipper tape fabric became unglued, and once I had figured it out on how to sew this whole thing together, the result was wavy and uneven looking. Not good. Here the adhesive tape holds onto the zipper fabric really well. Then I'm using a 0.1875 inch distance on my wing divider to mark where the stitches will sit. I then hammer the KS blade punch pricking iron holes and begin stitching the zipper in with some Venomo MBT number no. 5 brown thread. Then I'm checking to see if the zipper functions smoothly. Repeat the same process for the other side. Once that's done, zip it up inside out and press it flat, evenly distributed. Here I'm marking a half inch seam on the end. Then I make a two inch by two inch square on each side of those corners above the seam line I just made. Now I'm using a sharp Japanese knife to cut out that square, including that bit of the seam. I 
I decided to make a pull tab measuring one and a quarter inches by four inches long. Here I'm embossing my logo on both sides of the tab. Since the tab will increase the thickness up to four layers, I'm thinning out the edges as much as possible using my French edger again. Then it's time to bevel, burnish, and then polish with a canvas cloth. Here I'm gluing up the inside of the pull tab and letting that set for a moment while I hammer out the holes on the seam of the opposite end. Once that's done, it's time to stitch up that seam. And now it's time to install the pull tab. I'm using the adhesive tape again. I don't want to risk any glue squishing out onto the exterior of the bag. Once the pull tab is centered, it's time to hammer the holes into the seam. I then fold and clip up the squared corners. This means the seam I've just sewn has to be folded down. Now that it's clipped together, I'm hammering the half inch seam I've drawn on the corner, as you can see here. Stitch that corner up and repeat the process for the three other corners. Now it's just a matter of flipping the bag inside out. Doesn't look too bad, but let's check out the B-roll. Thank you so much for watching this video. Unfortunately, I don't have enough of this English tan Dublin leather available to make another one of these. However, I do have some natural Dublin. It's a little bit more of a whiskey honey color. If you're interested in purchasing one, let me know. Follow me on Instagram at Legacy Brand Leather where I post photos of my process, my products, and just general rugged vibes. If you enjoyed it, please like this video by hitting that thumbs up button below and please subscribe. That shows me that you want to see more videos and more content like this. Other than that, I'll see you next week with a new video. Stay safe out there.